In this video, I'm gonna show you my workspace and all the gear that I use for my design works. There are many questions about which tablet should I buy, or what should I pay attention to when buying a laptop. So to give this some insight, I wanted to talk about what I am using right now in this video. Let's start with the height adjustable desk from IKEA. This Rodolf model table has a surface area of 140 to 80 cm. I think there are also versions with manual height adjusted. Its dimensions are quite enough for me, but if there were two, I could still fill the whole desk. After all, this desk is the area I use constantly when drawing, modeling or rendering on the computer or shooting my YouTube videos. And it's really important for designers to have enough space. Since I work as a freelancer, I work from home all the time and of course I'm always with the computer. That's why it was important to have a good monitor for me. I'm using ASUS Professional 27-inch monitor right now. Frankly, I don't know much about monitors, but I know that it is a successful monitor in terms of color. 2560 to 1440 pixel resolution is quite enough for me. For some reason, there is only one ugly grey version of this desk. So I need to use this desktop accessory called Risla from IKEA to cover the space in front of me and to create a contrast with the paper in my videos. I have a stand in the left corner to give height to the laptop. At the same time I can organize a tidy desktop by putting pen and paper in its drawer and the space under it. I have an MSI Creator 15 laptop which I use for all my work. I didn't know much about laptops until a few years ago. I didn't know what the processor is or what should be the graphic card. A couple years ago when I decided to renew my laptop, I bought an MSI gaming laptop with the advice of my friends taking into account the features they suggested. And last year MSI sent this Creator 15 to me to try on this channel. And it's a product that I'm really happy with. After the information I've learned in the last few years, what I say to those who ask for laptop advice is the graphics card is very important when it comes to design. As far as I've observed, a laptop with a good graphics card already has a good processor in it anyway. That's why I say focus on the graphics card and definitely get a graphics card from Nvidia's RTX series. With the new updates, many programs show special performance on RTX. And since we don't change products such as laptops every year, get an RTX GPU so you will be fine at least for a couple years. My laptop also has an RTX 3060 GPU and an Intel i7-10870H as a processor. As I said, the GPU is the priority. The computer came to me with 16GB RAM and I upgraded it to 32. RAM is a component that can be replaced in general. In other words, you cannot change the graphics card or the processor in the laptop, but you can usually increase the RAM yourself. So there is no need to give it priority while decision making. It also came with 500GB SSD as a storage space and I added 2TB more SSD. Having an SSD instead of a hard disk is also generally faster and SSDs are more resistant to impact. At the end 2.5TB is enough for me. However, I sometimes use an additional 1TB Samsung T5 external SSD. I also like the overall design of the laptop rather than the gaming laptops. This creator series has a more minimal design language and it feels very solid. As the graphic tablets, I've used Wacom for years. Because when I started using graphic tablets, I guess there was no other brand. After some years of using Cintiq 13 HD, my tablet was getting old. And last year Huion sent me Canvas 13 to try. I can say both Wacom Cintiq 13 HD and Huion Canvas 13 have almost the same feeling, but Huion is much lighter and I can connect it to my laptop with a single USB-C cable. That's why I haven't touched the Wacom for a long time. Huion is more practical and it's pretty decent tablet for me. When there are questions about which tablet to buy, I cannot answer directly because there are many variables. Graphic tablets can be divided into screen tablets and non-screen ones. With the screen means that you can draw directly by looking at your tablet while drawing. But you have to connect it to the computer so it doesn't have a processor inside like an iPad. There are models like that too with the processors inside but I don't think it's necessary. On the non-screen drawing tablets you draw by either looking at the laptop screen or a monitor. They're also good for beginners. So it depends a bit on your budget and expectations. I also have Huion's Inspiroid Dial 2 without a screen. They sent it for me to try as well and it's also a nice product. But I personally prefer the one with the screen. The additional keyboard is important to me because I can work the way I want by changing its position. It is not possible for me to use the keyboard of the laptop since it is far away, so I use this keyboard from Hama when I'm at home in my own workspace. I use Blender in my 3D models and I like to use shortcuts, so a numpad is required and there is no numpad on my laptop. 
so an additional keyboard with a numpad is required for me anyway. While using Photoshop, the keys on the tablet are also limited, so I can use many shortcuts without looking at the keyboard. And for the mouse, I'm using a Logitech MX Master. I think I bought it 3-4 years ago and I'm still very satisfied with it. First of all, I really like the design and I didn't see any problems ergonomically. I use this wooden stand from IKEA so I can always keep my phone in certain area. But frankly, I still leave the phone around in a random way most of the time. Because I'm left-handed, I put my desk lamp on the right so when I draw, the shadow of my hand doesn't cover the drawing. I have a microphone stand and the microphone itself for my YouTube recordings and the meetings on the left. I usually place my headphones on the microphone stand as well. I always keep these small note papers on the desk because when something comes to my mind, the fastest way is still to take a small note either by sketching or writing. And of course, a Hot Wheels is a must-have on the desk to inspire and add color. My desktop layout is constantly changing and as you can imagine it is not always neat and clean as it is in the video. In fact, when editing this video, it looks exactly like this. Anyway, that's just when I'm in the middle of the work, because before I start to work I like to organize. At the end, starting with a clean and organized workspace helped me to stay focused. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.